Hello everyone, welcome to Beacon Gaming, the Daily Beacon's gaming review show. Let's get into this week's game, WayForward's River City Girls. River City Girls is a sequel slash spiritual successor to the classic NES beat-em-up River City Ransom. While River City Ransom has become quite the cult classic after its release here in America, I was pretty sure that the game was the only thing that really came in the series. Little did I know that the series is huge in Japan, with over 50 games in the series. Well, the point still stands that the series isn't big here in America. It is big enough, however, for me to recognize the River City in River City Girls title. This got me to pick up the game, and little did I know, I was about to fall in love. So, what actually happens in River City Girls? Well, a common trope in stories is the damsel in distress. Classic beat-em-ups such as Double Dragon and Final Fight feature buff men rushing into action when their girlfriends are kidnapped by villains. Well, River City Girls throws that trope on its head by having the girls rescue the boys. When their beloved Kunio and Ricky are kidnapped, Rambunctious girlfriends Kyoko and Misako break out of detention to rescue their lovers and find out why they were kidnapped in the first place. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Misako, killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... kidnapped! Oh, Ricky, I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? The game features fantastic voice acting, not only by professional voice actors such as Kira Buckland and Kaiju Tang, but also prominent YouTubers such as Dan Avedon, Aaron Hansen, and Sean McLaughlin. Oh, this game is hilarious. Pretty much all of the dialogue had me audibly laughing, which is something that games don't do often. It was not only the main dialogue that had me laughing, however. Side conversations and bits happening in the background can be just as funny, if not more so, than the normal dialogue. Puberty. But I don't know what that is. That's because you're ignorant, Jimmy. Puberty stands for punching until Brits explode right towards you. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Oh, gee, is that? Hard to beat you, Timmy. You're so huge. All oh, thanks to puberty. With enough effort, you can get as big as me. You give it a try? I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to punch harder than that, Timmy. <laughs> oh, so weak. Ah, puberty. The comedy in this game extends further than just the dialogue, however. When Kyoko gets to level 7, you learn a move that is literally just Kyoko dabbing so hard that it blows enemies around her away. I cannot stress how much I love this game. Speaking of dabbing into enemies so hard that they die, let's talk about gameplay. I don't care how big or how dumb you are, we're getting out of this school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky! So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work! Oh, that's it, you little turds! Time to get flushed! Get over here! Oh. River City Girls plays like a typical beat up You run around fighting wave after wave of enemies, learning combos and new moves as you level up. Combat is fast and satisfying. Sometimes you'll take some hits from enemies that feel a little cheap, but normally, deaths are due to player skill. As you level up, you gain access to new moves that are either automatically unlocked or must be purchased from a dojo. Some moves are pretty basic, such as being able to dive into your enemies after running. Others, however, are much more over the top, such as insane karate moves or punching a bunch of times while yelling sounds that feel like they come straight out of an anime. While the game can be played solo, 
This makes the experience much harder and less enjoyable. Hence why I recruited my good friend Connor to help record gameplay for this video. So shout out to him. For the record, I played as Kyoko and he played as Misako and that's why Misako sucks. Playing this game with a friend is a blast. It adds to the experience in almost every way. It even adds to the comedy. You literally stomp on your partner when they die to bring them back to life. While you can play the game by yourself and have fun, for maximum enjoyment, find a friend. The game features beautiful 16-bit-esque graphics interspersed with anime-inspired character models and cutscenes. Both art styles are fantastic, but the 16-bit stuff during the actual gameplay is my favorite part. This game is the perfect example of a retro style done right. It isn't 16-bit just to tug on nostalgia strings. It actually makes sense for the gameplay and it looks darn good. The soundtrack by Megan McDuffie is outstanding. I was always bopping my head around while playing the game, and I even listened to it out of my own volition while editing this video. Many modern video game soundtracks can come off as super generic, so it's so cool to see a new soundtrack from an indie developer that is actually something special. River City Girls is a perfect example of how to pay homage to a genre without going over the top. Whereas games such as Astral Chain recently drove me away due to their over-the-top anime-esque stories, this game actually made me love it more because it was over-the-top. Instead of taking itself super seriously, it knows exactly what it is. An anime beat-em-up video game. This is not serious business. River City Girls is currently going for about $30. While that might sound a bit steep for an indie game at first, after hearing me gush about how much I love this game, you probably already know I'm going to say it's worth every dollar. And by golly, it is. If this game even looks slightly enjoyable to you, you will not regret dropping the $30 at all. I don't simply recommend this game. I give it the highest honor known to Beacon Gaming. I highly recommend it.